To know the Hawaiian soul, one must first know the land, the Aina, the deep connections between place, kin, and history. The chant and voice you are hearing celebrate these understandings. Nowhere is the expressive tie to the land of one's birth more apparent than with this Kama'aina native born. Mary, Abigail, Kavena Ula o Kalani, Ahiiaka i Kopole o Pele, Kavahini ai Honua, Na Lele Hua a Pele, Wigan Pukui. Mary Kavena Pukui is Hawaii's foremost living cultural authority, linguist, storyteller, composer, translator, genealogist, teacher, and kumuhula or hula master. Throughout her lifetime, Kavena has authored or co-authored some 52 books and articles, composed over 150 songs and chants, and received numerous awards and degrees. On her many field trips, Kavena proved to be an expert scholar herself. She began to accumulate hundreds of Hawaiian words, idioms, and proverbs. She wrote on notes on things like this, bits of paper. Now, this is a, an envelope, and I can't throw it away because she's got notes there. She'd tear out little scraps of paper, and she wrote on flaps of of uh, envelopes. So if one picked this up this way, one would say, well, this is just a bit of rubbish and throw it out. But we have to open everything up because she has all her precious notes there. I think one of the primary reasons that she was interested in uh, getting this dictionary done is that she, working here at the museum, she had done lots of translations and she had always said that the material here in this library, it would take at least two of her lifetimes to make a dent in what was here. So she felt that the translators of the future would need something like this and this is the finished product and she worked on, on the dictionary with Dr. Elbert who was uh, once her pupil she taught him Hawaiian Kavena's passionate determination to preserve the Hawaiian language was realized in 1957 I felt that it was really her dictionary and that I was more or less a technician. She was very clever. Uh, her knowledge of English was wonderful. And she was so willing to cooperate with Howley's or with anybody. People were constantly calling her up for questions. She had to name almost anything. Lots of children, lots of streets. Uh, she said she'd never named a pig. <laughs> I think she wanted to. <laughs> um, she was full of poetry. And we filled the dictionary with uh, quotations from songs and chants and sayings. She was so ahead of her times. She saw what people would be interested in uh, a generation or two later. Um, uh, I just can't get over my admiration for her and for the, the extreme width, breadth of her interests and capabilities and talents. Because I know my mother's language, I've enjoyed exchanging thoughts with other Polynesians to discover our, our likenesses and our differences. And because I know my fathers, I can explain to others what we have had here and lost, and what we still retain. Knowledge, to me, is life. Ua mau kea o ka aina i ka pono. 